Renting a snowmobile can be a great way to experience snowmobiling without the need of purchasing your own and everything else that goes along with ownership. Now here at Red Leaves, they offer a rental program that you can take advantage of. Now I could leave the story at just that, but for this trip, I left my machine at home so I could get the full-on rental experience and tell you exactly what it's like. That meant not only was I riding on a rented sled, but I was doing it with a rented snowsuit as well. Now I did use my own boots and helmet because of fit and comfort, but besides these two items, everything else was provided by the rental shop. Stylish, isn't it? And we're ready. Typically, renting a snowmobile is as simple as renting a car, with an exchange of documentation, such as your license, and the signing of the rental agreement paperwork done, there's usually some time spent with a guide teaching you the basics of snowmobile operation and the rules of the road before you ride the trails. I would also suggest for novices or for those unfamiliar with a riding area to inquire about a guide to ride along with you, at least for your first time out. Most quality rental establishments will be able to make these arrangements for you and a guide will definitely improve the experience of your adventure. Introducing the people to snowmobiling uh, can be a little daunting so we want to make it as easy as possible. Uh, from making sure that everybody's outfitted from head to toe with the proper gear, making sure they're warm out there in February and having a great time. We've got, um, we've got great people that will take the time to make sure that each person on the snowmobile is feeling good. And we'll break up our groups depending on their, their skill level. We might have a group that'll go out and they might be uh, you know, first timers. And we have other guys that have been snowmobiling before but uh, they don't know the trails very well. So uh, you know, we do things like um, you know, a tour in the evening where you can snowmobile for a couple hours on the trails, have a nice dinner off property, and then snowmobile back at night. Uh, we'll do about three tours a day. Um, and uh, you know, everything from like a 90 minute tour to, uh, to two hours to a full day depending on how much action you want to see. For me, any day on the trails is a good day. And in no way was my day any less fun because I was on a rental. I mean, so what if my suit isn't the most stylish thing out there? At least it kept me warm. And so what if my sled doesn't set the snow on fire with its performance levels? This thing handled well, had plenty of power for the trails we rode, and kept me giggling all day long. Now renting a sled is a simple, relatively inexpensive way to go riding. So what are you waiting for? Get out there and go snowmobiling.